Today, the County Council will make final decisions on our operating and capital budgets for fiscal year 2016. I want to begin by thanking every council member for their hard work. Together, we have developed a budget that effectively addresses the top priorities of county residents while holding the line on taxes. I also want to thank County Executive Leggett. The budget he recommended in March provided a strong foundation for our work. We have supported most of what he proposed. After listening carefully to our community, as the Council does every year, we have strengthened the budget by targeting limited additional resources to priorities in education, public safety, health and human services, libraries, parks, transportation, and new initiatives like the Public Election Fund. Many of us would like to have done more for our one million residents, and several would have liked to reduce the large 2010 increase in the county energy tax. But we are coping with slower than hoped for revenue growth nationally, and this region also has experienced in the past year. The total budget before us contains an increase of just 1.7% over the current year's budget. The net increase compared to the executive's recommended budget, including reductions we have made, is $17 million. That is 0.3%, three-tenths of 1% of the $5.07 billion recommended budget. But as the final reconciliation list shows, the targeted additions we have made will make a big difference to our community. So I want to thank and commend all of my colleagues for a job well done. Each of you has added great value to this budget. It has been a privilege to work with you. I also want to commend our extraordinary council staff, and I especially want to thank my chief of staff, Patty Vitale, an outstanding manager and a true professional. Thank you, Patty, for helping deliver a government that works. I know that all my colleagues are as grateful to your chiefs of staff and your entire staffs as I am to mine. I want to thank Council Administrator Steve Farber, Deputy Council Administrator Glenn Orland, Council Clerk Linda Lauer, and our remarkable core of analysts from the Council staff and OLO, our attorneys, our Legislative Information Office, and our Administrative and IT staff. They have all done a tremendous job. Thanks to all of you. We have much to be proud of. We have accomplished this task on time, cooperatively. Working together, I'm confident we will continue to be productive for the balance of the year. We are going to continue to deliver a government that works. That is what our constituents expect, and that is what they pay for. <laughs>